Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this month's version of Cornwall Art High Presents in the Artist's Studio. I'm going to turn you over to Yafa, our host. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Richard, and thank you, everyone, for being here today to join us in uh, the Cornwall Art High visit to the Artist's Studio. It's a kind of an idea program we started, um, I think, in the beginning of um, this year, when we get the honor to visit an artist every month. And because of the pandemic and because of what we're all going through, we meet them um, in uh, online uh, Zoom and we go inside their studio so they can share with us their work. So we have been uh, visiting uh, artists from um, local artists from Cornwall who are interested in painting, music, singing. Virginia was with us. I was as well dancing. Lots of amazing um, souls and uh, talented artists in Cornwall. Jane McMillan as well and Pierre. And today we are super happy to uh, welcome uh, Carol from uh, Tilly's and she's the chef and the owner of the place. But because um, life is happening, so uh, Carol doesn't feel very well and she couldn't uh, join us today. She is really sick and we all hope she will get better soon. And we really want to thank you that you actually came to have the chance to see her or to talk with her, but she would not be able to join. So we decided to share with you a little uh, documentary uh, that uh, Corn now, me and my partner, uh, we decided to make a documentary about Tilly's, the, the place. So um, are we okay to watch a movie together and instead of hanging Carol, of course it's not the same at all, but because she's sick, so we're going to watch the movie together and maybe share a word about how uh, Tilly's and Carol are very important and inspiring um, people and Diane, of course, uh, in our community. So what do you think? Should we watch the movie? Yes, please. Sure, so I hope it's, um, let me know, Richard, about um, the sound and uh, I hope it will be okay this time. Yep. Okay, I'm sharing my screen and I'll go. Uh, so my name is Caroline Bredek. Uh, it's said Bredek, uh, or with the in Dutch. Uh, my family was from Holland, my dad's side. I grew up in Ottawa and uh, we moved to Cornwall about five years ago, a little longer. Um, I was working at other establishments and you know I was 46 at the time where I, th I thought you know that job was coming to an end, that it was time to do what I always wanted to do and I had a vision. And uh, she starts the ball rolling and she called me at work one day and she says, I've got the name of my restaurant. I know what I want to call it. And I said, okay, great, what is it? And she said, Tilly's. So now I'm sitting at the office crying, thinking, oh, like this is like giving so much because Tilly is my mother who passed away a couple of years before we opened Tilly's. And my mother uh, would have loved to have a restaurant had she, you know, could have changed her life. But my father would always say, Tilly, why don't you open a restaurant? We make a fortune. And of course, there was just no time for it. And, uh, you know, I think deep down, she would have really liked it. I love anything artistic, whether it be food. I love painting. Uh, I've done, you know, uh, sculpture and stuff in the past. So it's something I'm really drawn to. Um, but I think as far as the connection goes, I mean, if you met my spouse, Diane, and I, we both just really love people. And we have the best customers, uh, the nicest people. We genuinely want to talk to them. Sometimes that's not always possible because we're busy, but um, uh, that's part of keeping it small too. Like I didn't want people to come in and be a number on a table sort of thing. I want a sense of community here. Uh, it kind of starts to feel like a daytime, no alcohol cheers, you know, that show where everybody kind of knew your name when you come in. and. I'm passionate about the creation of food, you know, if I had more hours in the day, I mean, I would love to offer even more, but uh, I only do what's physically possible for me. You know, we're a lunch hub. Uh, I don't do suppers and uh, we have a few things for breakfast, but uh, we strongly focus on lunch. Yeah, and uh, I love it. 
I love what I do and I get to do it with a person I love every day. We work super well together and uh, we laugh a lot. And I think, you know, people are like, how do you work with your spouse? But it's, uh, I'm really blessed. I love Cornwall. People have told me I could be a spokesperson for it because, you know, from Ottawa and a lot of people kind of head towards the valley side and up in the Ottawa Valley. Um, I don't think there's a strong knowledge about Cornwall. So when I'm, you know, raving about what Cornwall has to offer and stuff like that, and I see, you know, the market kind of flourishing and, and you never want it to be over grandiose, but I just, I think there's a lot to appreciate here. So we, um, we would love to open uh, some um, few minutes to share any words about um, what we saw now, the documentary about Tilly's, or if, of course, you want to say anything about uh, Carol and Diane, and especially, of course, Carol and how she created this amazing food and how Tilly's uh, is opening um, the spot for artists to use the walls. Uh, I was talking with Richard and I told him, um, we don't have a gallery at the moment in Cornwall, right? And the center, which is we're blessed that we're going to have an art center. It will take another year almost to be able to use it. So having a nice place like Tilly's opening their doors and giving an artist a chance to hang their art is very important. And especially that Carol herself is an artist too. So um, this is my highlight points for uh, Tilly's and Carol. And with all the love for both of them, Karan Diana, I would love to open the discussion if anyone wants to say a word about Tilly's, about Carol. Oh, it, is, it is a real hub and they are incredible supporters of the arts community. Um, I'm very sorry to hear that she's feeling so badly that she couldn't even open up on Friday. And I hope uh, that she's feeling much better very quickly. Yeah, and since you mentioned the whole art community, I would love to also highlight that uh, Carol and Dan was offering their place for art in uh, the um, in the Apples and Art. So they welcomed me and another uh, nice artist, uh, artist uh, Gabriel, right? And he was with me inside the place and they offered very warm atmosphere for us and for the people to be there to see art. And I think this was one of the, um, the main intentions, right? The whole community comes together to keep this chance happening, to keep this energy of art and artists. Yeah, there's, so, a, there's a 30 year history of Apples and Art and we were glad to have them uh, host this year. Uh, we did yeah, and for more to come, right? And more places and more artists and new people and new waves, new blood to join. This is uh, all the excitement coming from. And I, would, I want to ask, of course, if Mar Marlene want to say something or uh, Jackie? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. I'll say something. Yes, sure. I, I don't usually uh, frequent um, restaurants and eating places in Cornwall. And um, since I joined 125 Pit Studios with other artists, I've uh, been dropping in at Tilly's and because I had heard very good things about it. And um, what I like is the, when you walk in the door, you've got always smiles and beautiful hellos. It's like being a little bit of a family once you get to know. Uh, Diane and Carol Ann. And uh, I also um, really love their choice of lunch food. Uh, it's very healthy. And I, uh, I do, when I get a chance, recommend it to family members. And um, the, <laughs> art, the art part of it, um, uh, I'm very happy that they're uh, receiving offers of hanging uh, in their establishment. And I really wish that um, we had more of these opportunities in Cornwall. It doesn't necessarily, I feel, have to do with hanging in restaurants or cafes, but there are so many businesses that would benefit from having beautiful art on their walls. And um, if we could gather 
that type of information and promote. Uh, I'm not sure through what me, uh, what outlet, but uh, that would greatly benefit the artists in Cornwall also. Um, so I must say, but um, I really love Kelly's. I'm very happy that they came to Cornwall, that they're offering this wonderful uh, service. And um, I do hope that uh, many will uh, be very proud to be able to use uh, and to frequent their establishment. Oh, thank you. So beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm sure they will be so happy to hear and see this uh, video after. And um, uh, the word for you, uh, Jackie, if you want to say something. Sure. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm not going to put on my video just because it's a mess in here and I'm busy, busy, busy. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, known Carol Ann and Deanne uh, for, I, I don't know, the last few years. Um, uh, Carol Ann from working in the community as well as uh, she's a very talented artist. Um, so uh, I think the arts community, it, well, let's just forget the arts community right now. I know they're very supportive of the arts community. Uh, they're very supportive of the community period and promote and are happy to host um, community building events, which is really awesome. Um, uh, I would just like to comment to Marlene. Um, Marlene, I think a lot of opportunities are available in the community. I, I, I believe it just requires the artists to go out and make contact with the businesses to make, it, you know, to make those opportunities um, birth, come alive, be available. Um, I have, I, I live outside of Cornwall. I live in South Glengarry, but often when I am in town, I, I love to pop into Tilly's. Um, it's, you know, as uh, Marlene said, um, uh, Carol Ann and Deanne are, are lovely, engaging hosts. There's, there's always a lot of activity, you know, people meeting and chatting and smiling in the cafe, um, you know, it's a great place to, to uh, catch a lunch or, or have a coffee with a friend. Um, it's certainly a place that I look forward to continue to frequent. And um, uh, it, this is just a perfect time when Carolyn and Deanne have, um, given artists in the community the opportunity to hang uh, some of their artwork every month. Uh, you know, we really need that in the community and how gracious of them to step up and allow their place um, to host some of our community's artwork and um, how lovely for their clients to come in and see the artwork. Yeah. yeah, I think this is this was very important point that they appreciate the art and I have been speaking with uh, with both of them and I know that uh, they believe that as important to feed your body and come for nice food. It's also important to feed your soul and from this belief they actually started this invitation. I was lucky to be one of the artists who have been hanging uh, my body painting workshops um, work there the photos and it was amazing to be there in Tilly's when people can you know see me there and they say oh you're the artist this is your work they're building this connection in the community making very good vibes and for the part of food which is i believe food is art as well and when it's made with love it's a different kind of uh, art uh, because we will love the person who did it for us and we would love to eat it itself uh, this part was basically for carol to speak more about it but because she's not with us today so we hope we can host her another time when she's feeling better so she can speak with us a little bit about how this creating food is art. For me, it's, it's a challenging thing. I feel it's a duty. So I was hoping to hear from her, I hope soon, 
But I would love to thank you all. Thank you so much for being here today. She would yeah. be so happy to know that we came and we shared all this love for her and Tilly's and for yeah. this energy I, that both of them are creating in, in, the, in the place and in our community. I, I would just like to lastly mention that uh, Carol Ann, I mean, it's obvious she's very um, creative in the choices she makes for the menu that she puts together. I mean, she's come up with things that I, I enjoy cooking, my husband enjoys cooking, but she comes up with combinations that are very original, creative, and above all else, taste fabulous. I agree. Yep. Yeah. But very okay. delicious and she's super super generous and she's she's a giver and she's happy to see people enjoying the food and i think this is why the place is actually the love in the place makes you keep coming and i will just mention another um happy moment when i was uh, almost the first year for me to be here in cornwall and she invited me to do some art in the in the spot when everything was locked down like we couldn't enter her places was hard and she said if the, uh, the archive is looking for a place so we can come and sit in the tables as we eat but we will not eat we will sit in the tables and we create art so yeah. we keep the social distance and we enter the place as a bubble like you come with someone you know from your house and you sit and create art and that was beautiful because she opened the place for the archive to grow we got to know families and kids they, they want to come out and have this chance to create together and see other people. And for me, that was very, it, it was really appreciated and it means much to me. And actually she offered as well free cookies. So she's awesome. She offered what? Free cookies. Oh, yes, yes. I, I remember um, dropping into one of your uh, events in the beginning very briefly. And um, yeah, I could see exactly what was going on. Yeah. Very, yeah, very generous souls and business. Yeah, really. Yeah, that, that's so true. So we would send her all the love, all the healing energy, so she will get better, and we can see her soon. Yeah. And thank you again for being here. And if you want to see the um, small documentary, you can see it in Core Now, the Facebook page, mm -hmm. and you can enjoy watching um, uh, as much as you want. It uh, took already almost uh, three thousand views. So you want to see it, awesome. share it. It would be nice to support the place as well. Great. We miss you, Carol. Get well soon. Yeah, we miss you. <laughs> hey, bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Signing Thank off you, in five, four, three,